transmission. Uh, the engine oil, the transmission oil. Okay. And um, and also the antifreeze. The antifreeze? Yes. Perfect. Let's do it. This is where scrappers is always so nice having different size tools, whether you need a 10, mil, 10 millimeter, a 14. You know, you see all the tools that they kind of have accrued here. You never know when you need it. But what's nice is Christian knows what he's doing here. Simple tool to be able to put underneath to collect the oil. It helps so it doesn't make a mess all over. But listen, scrappers, this is not something you want to do in your backyard. You know, you don't want this oil. Look how much is falling out of here. What do you think it's going to end up being? A uh, few quarts? Uh, yes, definitely around four to five quarts. Wow. Usually. This is one quart right here. So you have four or five of these just in this one section, right? That's correct. Transmission fluid could all have also about three to four quarts. Wow. Now, what will you do when this is all taken out? Because I have to imagine it all kind of gets mixed together. Will you guys recycle it from here? Yes. Got the, it. The, all the oils get put in a, in, a, in a barrel. Okay. And then the antifreeze gets put in a separate. Separate barrel. one. So the antifreeze is in one. All of the oils from the transmission is in another. Now, what about things like the windshield washer fluid? What do you guys windshield. do with those? That also gets mixed in with the antifreeze. Okay. This is considered the same. Um, That's considered the same. Yes. Now, what about the gasoline that comes out of these? I know that a lot of auto wreckers will drain the gas and they'll use them on their own vehicles. That's correct. But sometimes, do you guys ever find that the gas is so dirty that it has to be recycled? Yes, that's correct. And there's also a separate uh, barrel for the, for the old stale gas. So the old stale gas will have its own barrel. The good usable gas will go into a different one. Yeah. What about when you guys get any trucks that have diesel in them? Will you have that diesel separate? Yes, there's also a separate container for, for diesel. So again, and for the diesel, will you guys reuse that or will you normally just recycle it because the diesel can normally get dirtier sometimes? Yes, the diesel can get real dirty so it's better to, to recycle. Better it. recycle the diesel. Yeah. But once in a while, I'm sure you guys get a couple of uh, good tanks of gas out of here. You probably have to be surprised sometimes. Oh, yeah. I bet you get some full tanks of gas for vehicles. And you're oh, like, yeah. whoa, jackpot. You got $100 worth of gas in there. <laughs> so now that you're starting to have this drip out, will you let it get to the point where it's just dripping a little bit like yeah. we see now? Yes. So what correct. will you do now? At this point, I'll put the bolt back in. Okay. Knowing that most of the oil is already removed. Yes. Yeah. And then I look for what I need to uh, remove this bolt right here. Which so this looks like a hex? Yes, that's correct. Uh, Got it. About probably a six millimeter or eight millimeter hex. So now we're going to do what, Christian? We're going to use a six millimeter and do what here? Uh, this one actually turned out to be a 10 millimeter Okay. Hex, but it can be anywhere between six millimeter and 10 millimeter. Okay. So this has a different nut on it than the other ones do. Now when this comes out, will it just immediately start pouring out as yes. soon as you get okay so great you want to be ready to you want to be ready there's no there's no waiting on this oh, okay. right again gloves super important super super important are there a specific glove that you like to use when you're working on vehicles uh, I, I like to use the fabric because it's um it gives me dexterity sometimes a little more dexterity yeah. so would you ever put the rubber gloves under the fabric ones just that's also a great idea you can uh, put the just to protect your hands I would think yes, so you don't have it going in yes because the fabric actually it does absorb the it leaks a lot right yeah, it leaks the so we have about three to four quarts coming out here and we see it's starting it's starting to slow up now once you're done draining all of this, what will your next step be from under the car when it comes to draining on a vehicle like this? The next step would be the antifreeze. Okay. I, I can cut the hoses right here and then all the antifreeze will pour out. So now what you're doing here, you're just taking the belly pan off to give us better access to drain the vehicle, correct? Yeah. Yes. And most of the vehicles you see nowadays, are they aluminum radiators? Yes. They're with not plastic not. ends, they're not the old brass they're ones. Not the old brass, that's what, what, what do you think some of the, the brass radiators are still in? Some of the older trucks, maybe vehicles yeah. in the 80s? Yes, anything in the 80s, 
or even in the 90s? Early 90s, it, 1990s, I mean, you've probably seen thousands of vehicles come through. Is that where you saw the radiators starting to turn from brass to aluminum? That's correct. Got it. So this tool that he's using, this impact gun, um, this is one of the best tool scrappers. It really has such incredible power. Um, looks like he's using a Milwaukee. I know Milwaukee's popular. Snap-on is also a very popular one. And having a tool like this, it generally just has two settings, forward and reverse, but it has incredible torque to it. So you can really take things off quickly and easily and having the right tools makes it real easy to be able to do so as well. Mark, look at this, just a basic machete. I mean, some, some tools you don't need to buy in Home Depot. Some of them you just need to get underneath and let it start going. This is where some of those latex gloves might be nice. So those fabric gloves, you probably go through them pretty quickly. And you kind of see how quickly it comes out here because you're just cutting it and essentially letting it d drain all over the place. So again, what's nice about where Christian is working, he's working on top of concrete. So any mess that happens, you have Speedy Dry that can clean it up. So even if you have a little of extra residue that's on the ground, by working underneath the roof, working with a lift, working with concrete under your feet, it's just going to give you a much better ability to be able to get it done. So we're going to go over how to properly drain the Freon out of the cars because the air conditioning has to be chilled by something. So Christian, tell us what we have here. Right here we have a machine to drain the Freon out of the vehicles. The common name for this uh, machine is refrigerant recovery equipment. Okay. This machine, it uh, pulls out the Freon and then it puts it in this tank back here. That's on the back? On the back of the machine. Now do most of the cars have the same type of Freon? Uh, they could either have R12 or R134A. And if you're recycling them, can they go into the same container or should you have different containers for them? Yes, they can be both put into the same and container. And that is also recyclable. That's also recyclable. But because cars have such a small Freon recovery, that probably takes a while to fill up. Yes, that's correct. Quite a few cars. So this, you're just taking it, you're able to take these ends, you connect it to the car, and then from there, does it plug into the wall and just drain it? That's, so that, that, that's what this is? Yes. So just a 110 outlet, you plug it in, you hook these in, you turn it on, and boom. And boom. Purges it right out. It right so out. scrappers, if you're serious about parting cars out, this evaporator or refrigerant recovery machine, another great tool. Um, we've seen a lot of these listed online used, especially when auto places are going out of business or retiring or shutting down. So another great tool if you're looking to recycle the gas that comes out of the car that's used for the air conditioning. You're going to just scrap a vehicle and you want to get a clean price for it. They generally have a couple of different prices. They have whole car prices and then they have cars that are parted out at scrap yards. And if you're going to go and drain something like the antifreeze and you're never going to reuse the lines, well, Christian's saying is super smart. You have it up there. You might as well just cut it because you're not reusing those lines. So that's a really good idea. Now, it's much easier doing this today because you have the car lifted up. That's Thanks for watching our video. For $2.99 a month, by becoming a member, you can get access to early videos, member-only videos, merchandise discounts from our store, and priority comments that we answer before answering any other scrappers. Click the link below to learn more. Until next time, scrap you later.